Does our hearing system provide evidence that the Bible's account of human origins is true? That humans were created instantly by God in His own image? Let's take a look at the evidence to find out. Our sophisticated hearing system is made up of five separate components that don't make any sense by themselves, but when combined together, they make a complete system that allows us to hear. It all starts with the outer ear, which is specially shaped to capture sound waves so they can travel through the ear canal. These sound waves press against our eardrums and wiggle three tiny bones, called the hammer, anvil, and stirrup, that amplify the signal by a factor of 1.7 times using leverage. This mechanical process converts to a hydraulic process by pressing against the cochlea, which again amplifies the signal, this time by a factor of 22 times. The fluid inside the cochlea moves over 20,000 microscopic hair cells that are connected by tiny molecular linking springs causing an electromechanical transduction process that transforms the sound vibration into a neural signal that is immediately comprehended as speech. Just how did evolution dream all of this up? These five separate systems, each of which is purposeless and meaningless without the others, all connecting to make an overall hearing system that truly shows intentional design. Without the cranial hearing nerve, what good are thousands of multi-length hair cells that interpret various sound frequencies? If the hair cells were not bathed in a solution with the perfect ratio of potassium and calcium, how could they transfer the sound signal? What purpose would the cochlea serve without the three tiny ear bones that amplify the signal just enough for the whole thing to work? And did you know there's even a tiny tendon between the hammer and anvil that shifts the stirrup backward to protect the ear when sounds are too loud? How did chance evolution think that one up? Our hearing system is even self-lubricated with drainage tubes. And to think, this entire system runs on energy from what we ate for breakfast. Realistically speaking, how could something like this evolve? Doesn't the design explanation make more sense? How could such an interconnected, interdependent, complex hearing system arise by mere chance with no intentional design? Even the starting systems in cars, which also have five components, are obviously put together by a designer to serve an overall purpose that is only evident when they are all put together in a certain way. Indeed, the five components of our hearing system were put together at the same time when we were made as complete, functioning humans who are well equipped for taking dominion over this planet God gave us. Some random hodgepodge of matter plus energy and time has never produced something with such function, purpose, and cohesiveness, with all of the independent parts requiring the other to make anything of use or value. Truly, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Are you a Christian student looking for answers about what the Bible teaches about creation, the fossil record, dinosaurs? Download the Genesis Apologetics app from the iTunes or Google Play stores for answers to these questions and more.